Hello everyone and welcome back to Virginia. I'm Xorb and we are still on the Lucas Fairfax case, uh, investigating why uh, that uh, young boy, I believe, uh, disappeared. Um, while at the same time investigating our partner, uh, I discovered that while we were editing that, yeah, it's indeed um, like internal affairs investigation going on with uh, Maria Halperin, I think she's called. Um, and uh, we're going to check out what happens with that as well. Um, I'm kind of curious about where all of this is going, you know? Ah, oh, is this the dead bird? In this little abduction space? Or morgue, I guess? Seems like a weird place to put a bird. Maybe we're just in a dream now? But that's the bird that we found in the cave earlier. Oh yeah. And that bird was very much dead, so we're probably dreaming now. Hey there. I can't quite recall his name now. Uh, annoyingly enough. Or was that not a dream? Was that like a daydream sequence rather than anything else? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what is this? Is that bird singing along with the bass tune? Okay, maybe it stopped now. <laughs> Hey, you're that uh, girl that I saw in my dream. Maybe we're still dreaming then, because why would these... I, I thought you were, these would be like police officers and other FBI agents, uh, not just some kids. Then again, I believe that the kids uh, were partying in this cave, so it would make sense for them to be here and be a bit annoyed that they can't go inside. Hey you, weren't you the guy who flipped me the bird yesterday? What the hell? What are you doing? Wait! Did you, did you rip off her... Like, locket? That we found last episode? That's very uncool. I want to know what that was all about. Why do you like this kid? Hey. Did we get a name on you? No, I guess you didn't have an ID. So, okay, we're not dreaming then, I guess. This isn't feeling very dreamy at the moment. Millennium Mall. The Minion Construction. Retail complex and commercial hub preparing Burgess County for the 21st century. Space for 240 stores. Okay, so it's just a very big mall, I guess. And is that like LSD? Sure looks like it. Yeah. Don't eat that. I'm assuming that's going to go to, like, the lab or something, rather than me bringing it with me home. Which is where we are now. I mean, not at the lab, at my home. Um, Alright. So, let's go to bed, perhaps? Or are we gonna meet more buffaloes tonight? What do we have to do now? Oh, no. I do not know. Okay, something in here. Yeah, so that's definitely that broken key behind me on the table now. Oh, I did bring the LSD with me, I guess. <laughs> um, that was the key that we saw in the intro. Um, like, the, the, at the start of the intro, we saw a key locking a box, and we had this. Like, right at the start of the game, so... I'm kind of 
yeah, I have no idea what that's going to lead to, but well, maybe we have some um, mysteries ourselves uh, that we need to figure out. So day three now. This is probably a dream, right? I think all the other days have started with uh, dreams like this. Or maybe it's an LSD trip. Is that the hat of the military guy? Um, I want to say it's like Henniger or something like that. I'm guessing that's like Air Force. I'm very bad with like American military and such. Oh. What even is that? Is it like a furnace? Of some kind? A bunch of these missing photos for um, Lucas. Okay, and the bird again. So what the hell was the bird doing in the morgue? That's very... ...odd, really. Hey, Cord. Or Mr. McCarran. How am I doing so far? Yeah? Anything? Is that, like, supposed to suggest that that's the part that I'm just reading right now? Hmm. Yeah, I'm very curious, because the, the file said, like, that, um, that the reason for the investigation is itself classified. And given this sort of um, search helping, um, yeah, given like X files and such, I would kind of assume that that it's part of some big conspiracy to. Uh, um, Yeah, whatever, to uh, get her <laughs> for getting too close to the truth, you know. So, name, helper in Maria. Clearance special agent, status active, additional information, records transferred from previous file. Yeah. Are we gonna search for Maria Ortega as well? In uh, 1990. Okay, so both Maria and Judith. File transfer. Please see file helper in Maria. So they are the same then. Or it was transferred from the Ortega file to the helper in file. Judith Ortega. Information not in database. Please refer to the records department. So let's head to the records department. Huh. Kind of neat having like montages in a game. Uh, where do I put it? Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, I am confused. <laughs> okay. Press a button? Okay. Committing one of her own. Special Agent Judith Ortega. One of uh, Bureau's intake on. Go getting female agents. Uh, was today awarded the FBI Medal for 
meritorious achievement for her extraordinary work cracking the Holism Lidecker case. During her time with the FBI, the plucky young wife and mother of one um, has set a higher um, a high watermark amongst her lady contemporaries. This reporter feels Mr. Mrs. Ortega is fast establishing herself as a role model for law-abiding colored women everywhere. Mr. Albert Ortega said he saw his moral influence uh, reflected in his wife achievement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Director Hoover was not in attendance, but is said to be, uh, be encouraged by the um, by the work of the bureau at large. Okay. Um, so should we go looking for Albert Ortega? Oh, why can't I zoom like this? Are we supposed to like find a specific thing here to look closer at, or am I just very confused now? Okay, we can just keep on spinning, I guess. Oh, confidential. Memorandum to the director of the FBI. Edgar further to. No, no, no. I'm writing uh, regarding new information reaching me through back channel concerning the aforementioned special agent Ortega. The Ortega woman uh, continues to make wild allegations regarding conspiracy and supposed breaches of uh, our ethical guidelines. And I am concerned how her spurious findings might be interpreted where they were they to reach the public at large. The reputation, uh, mine and that of the Bureau, must be safeguarded. Cord understands this and I value his uh, cooperation in this sensitive matter. matter. Cord, so that's... Jesus, who was Cord again? Oh, right, right that's, um, that's the first name of that military guy. Oh, no, 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 that's the first name of our boss. Right, that's true. Uh, it's common knowledge of uh, internally that uh, while sanctioned by the applied sciences, Ortega has a pre predilection, predilection? Ah, okay. uh, for unconventional methods. I feel this could be turned to our advantage were deniability to be an issue. Have taken your recommendation. Uh, have taken your recommended steps to suppress uh, this activity and divert Agent Ortega's inquisitiveness into more productive avenues. But if this woman's uh, over-enthusiastic behavior persists, we shall be forced to take additional measures. So, wait. Is this the... Is, um... Judith, right? That was the name, right? Uh, this, this Ortega. Is that the face in the locket? Also, what you can, like, click these as hyperlinks or something. I know you couldn't do that on this device, but I mean, like, in the game. I wonder why they were underlined, I guess. That's the... Oh! Alright, yeah, that's definitely her. Unit Ortega. All information contained here in his classified. 82. Under suspicion of gross misconduct... Under suspicion of gross misconduct, misuse of uh, FBI laboratory property, breach of the ethical standards regarding prohibited use of controlled substances, subordination, special agent unit blah, blah, has been subject to... Um, of a covert mm, justice internal affairs investigation for a period of no less than mm, months. Finding of this investigation are that Ortega should face charges on all. Mm. Uh, our recommendation is that she should be suspended immediately without pay. Mm, her special agent status should be revoked immediately pending a formal. <laughs> okay. So this is probably uh, Maria's mother then, right? And now Maria is investigating the same things that her mother did? What an asshole. would do that to a freaking FBI agent? That seems... like insanity. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Bring home the bacon. Yeah, she does not like that, does she? Bring home the bacon. What does that even mean? Shouldn't you have, like, the name of whoever you are 
Uh, oh, that's like a construction van, I think. Uh, but it's covered up. I think we saw that on the mall. Um, yeah, Dominium construction. That's what I thought. Uh, what are you supposed to do here? Okay. Hmm. So maybe they were just... Oh, here's the uh, Cannon Observatory. Right. We saw this uh, as well in the sketchbook of Lucas. And it's managed by Dominion in construction. Yeah, maybe they were just advertising for this stuff, or maybe the construction company is very big in this town and like overseeing everything. Maybe they are the bad guys. I don't know. Hmm. Where are we now? Okay, so now we're here. <laughs> what are we looking for? Like, what could we be looking for here? To be honest. I I don't feel like we've gotten, gotten any indication of something special actually being here. I do wonder if we can pick this up. I don't know why we want to pick this up, if they're just random collectibles, or uh, if they actually will help us in any way. It would be weird if flowers would help us <laughs> investigate a missing person, or Maria. I don't know if we're even in really investigating her anymore now, <laughs> given that we are... Oh, okay, yeah, we're heading up. Um, given that we kind of found out what happened to her, maybe we are on her side now. I don't know, honestly. Maybe not. Oh, did someone come in? Oh, it's... Oh, that's the father of Lucas. And, uh... That girl that we'd seen a couple of times. That I actually saw in my dream before I saw her in real life, which is kind of crazy. So what does... The father want with her. Oh, Jesus. You were serious about this. Is this a place we... This isn't uh, the Fairfax place, right? Oh, is that like a lockpick gun? Oh, it is that place. Oh, why are we sneaking inside here? Well, I guess we saw him in a weird location. But... Yeah, like I said, I don't know what's so special about that um, that place, really. Okay, can't uh, find anything there. Nothing in the Bible. Maybe we'll uh, keep on looking elsewhere, then. Check this door, maybe. Yeah, so you can tell if I'm going to be able to interact with stuff by like hovering over it like this, but it's kind of uh, it's still kind of hard to to find the right spot at times. It's not uh, super clearly signposted, I guess. It's not like oh, this the only object that line shines light shines on or anything like that. But it's more like random objects in corners and such. Which uh, I mean, it's kind of cool since you're solving a mystery and all that, but it's still kind of weird since those are the only objects in the whole level that you can actually interact with. So it's, it's mostly like the game kind of plays itself, I guess, um, in in a lot of cases, which I don't really mind too much. Uh, it's, it's a perfectly uh, acceptable way of telling a interactive story, I think. Um, hmm, is that symbol supposed to mean something? But yeah, at times I kind of want a little bit more interactivity, like... Not, uh, not necessarily that it has to be challenging or anything, it has to, like, give me some... Huh. 
What's that ring? What? What is going on here? Or is that was that not her mother? Was that her wife? But I don't think that makes I don't know with the specifics, but I guess it could just be um, have been um, Oh, this is feeling very Twin Peaks, isn't it? <laughs> isn't this like straight out of Twin Peaks? Peaks? Um, but yeah, maybe they were just engaged or something. Like the baseline and everything, it's feeling <laughs> a bit crazy. Oh, hey there. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Good one. Oh yeah, clearly... They, you can clearly tell where their inspirations come from. Fuck! <laughs> ah, so we're becoming friends. <laughs> A bit of an awkward dance, perhaps, but yeah, sure. Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense for them to just be engaged because they wouldn't share the same name or anything like that. So maybe she has a uh, husband or something like that. So obviously nothing that would make that impossible. I just haven't gotten that um, impression before. Hmm. That was a nice scene. I quite like that. Back in the dream now? Or perhaps not? All right. Yeah. So in uh, any case, um, this uh, is going to be where we end today's episode. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on Virginia. Bye bye.